watch any kind of movie except teaching. Since then, it has been helping us. If I see any hard word, I will ask my parents. Then they will explain it to me. Even in the church, as small as I am, I used to teach Sunday school. If you obey my advice, you will see yourself going higher, even higher than me. I hope you understand me. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look into communication. Everybody say communication. Communication. Communication is the process of sending and receiving messages or information. This may be in the form of ideas, news, or feelings sent from one person to the other. For communication to take place, there must be a sender and a receiver. Now children, we have two types of communication. They are traditional means of communication and modern means of communication. Children, repeat after me. Traditional means of communication. Traditional means of communication. Modern means of communication. Modern means of communication. Beautiful. Children, let's explain them. The traditional means of communication are the means of communication used in the olden days or in the traditional society. Like village, to draw people's attention in order to give them some important information. Traditional means of communication includes the gong, the talking drum, the tongue criers, others are sounds from horns, bells, and flutes. Modern means of communication. Modern means of communication are the type we use these modern times. They include 1. Printed information Example Magazine Newspaper Billboards Letters Handbills Number 2. The use of telephone Number 3. Radio Number 4. Fax Email and internet. Number five, television. Number six, satellite system. Example are Go TV, DSTV, Star Times. Are you listening? Yes, yes, yes. Now repeat after me. Printed information. Printed information. Example magazines. Example magazines. Newspaper. Newspaper. Billboards. Billboards. Letters. Letters. And handbills. And handbills. The use of telephone. The use of telephone. Radio. Radio. Fax. Email and internet. Fax. Email. Television. Television. Satellite system. Satellite system. Example. Go TV. Example. Go TV. DSTV. DSTV. Start times. Start times. Good. Children, give yourselves a sound clap. Now, children, let's look into letters of the alphabet. In English language, we have what is called uppercase and lowercase. Listen carefully as I read. Uppercase and lowercase. Now, repeat after me. 
What is sense organ? Sense organs are those parts of the body that respond to action, and they are five in number. They are eyes is the organ of sight, nose the organ of smell, ear the organ of sound, tongue the organ of taste, skin the organ of touch. Let's see things we do with our sense organs. Number one, the eyes is the sense organ of sight. Uses of the eyes. We use our eyes to see. We use our eyes to shed tears. We use our eyes to read books. We use our eyes to watch television. We use our eyes to see color. Nose. Uses of nose are I breathe with my nose. I sneeze with my nose. I smell with my nose. Tongue. Tongue is the sense organ of taste. Taste is one of your basic senses. It helps you to evaluate food and drinks so you can determine what is safe to eat. Ear. It is the sense organ of hearing. We use our ears to hear sound made by things in our environment. Like sound made by man, sound made by animals, and also sound made by non-living objects. Skin. Skin is the sense organ of touch. We feel pain with our skin when we are injured. Children, I hope you are following. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see some things we do with some parts of our body. Number one, mouth. Mouth is one of the parts of the body that is very, very important. We do many things with our mouth. One, I eat with my mouth. Two, I talk with my mouth. Three, I sing with my mouth. Four, I laugh with my mouth. Five, I cry with my mouth. Two, teeth. Teeth is also important. Let's see what we do with our teeth. I chew with my teeth. I bite with my teeth. Hand. Things I do with my hand. I touch things with my hand. I eat with my hand. I clap with my hand. I wash with my hand. Let's see things we do with our neck. My neck carry my head. My neck turn my head. Up and down, left and right. Children, are you following? Yes, yes, yes. Now, this I do with my legs. I run with my legs. I walk with my legs. I stand with my legs. I play football with my legs. I dance with my legs. So children, everything in our body is very, very important. Is that well understood? Yes, yes, yes. The next topic is object. Everybody say object. Object. What is object? An object is a material thing. That can be seen and touched. Everybody say it. An object is a material thing that can be seen and touched. Examples are chairs, fan, doors, mobile phone, board, cupboard, table. We have 
objects that float on top of the water and also those that sink in the water. When an object sinks, it goes down to the bottom of the water and when it floats, it stays on the top of the water. When an object floats, it pushes water out of the way. Examples are balloon, leaf, feather, ball, rubber cup, pepper, and envelope. Everybody repeat after me. Balloon, balloon, leaf, leaf, feather, feather, ball, ball, rubber cup, rubber cup, pepper, pepper, and envelope. And envelope. Children, children. Do, do, do. 
do to keep our surroundings clean are 1. Sweep and dust the roofs every day. 2. Arrange the furniture and equipment well to avoid home accidents. 3. Throw rubbish into the waste bin. Do not throw rubbish into the gutter. Cut the grasses slow every time. Pick the piece of paper or dirt around your surroundings. Urinate or pass feces in latrine or water system toilet, not in your surroundings. Do not spit carelessly into your surroundings. Children, are you following? of living in a clean surrounding. 1. A clean surrounding helps to promote good health, sound sleep and rest. 2. It prevents household pests in our homes. Household pests are housefly, cockroach, rats and ants. It also prevents germs from growing and spreading disease. Material used to clean our surroundings are broom, mop, brush, dustpan, long handle brush, short handle brush, disinfectant, and kerosene. Hope you understand. Yes, and yes. Give yourself a sound clap. Another one. And a bigger one. Cleaning agent. What is cleaning agent? Cleaning agent are substances used to remove dirt, including dust, stains, and bad odor on surfaces. Purpose of cleaning agents are health, beauty, removing offensive odor, and fur. Avoid the spread of death and contamination of oneself. Types of cleaning agents are water, detergent, soap, jeep, bucket. Broom, brush, ditto, hypo, iza, baka, west B. I I was going to Mr. Beast with my daddy and mommy, with my brothers and sisters. Children see me there, children see me.
Celebrate. 